Hello, my name is Rodolfo Silva, and let's talk about displacement maps and mesh smoothness. So I have this model here from Neil Easton. And as you can see, if I go down under my tool palette, under displacement map, you can see we have a displacement map on. And in this case, this displacement map is using, of course, your UVs, but it is showcasing that higher level of detail on top of what is already sculpted on. So if I go to my subdivision levels and lower it down to the first subdivision level, you can see that with displacement maps on, you can still preview that high level of detail, even though your polygon count is rather low. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can go to display properties, and now you can see you have this quick 3D edit button. And if you click that and deactivate that, what it's going to happen is it's going to display a shading mode that is smoothing out your normal, smoothing out your mesh. So in Quick 3D, it's basically looking at your model and rendering each face with hard edges in order to improve performance so you can actually sculpt. But you can also turn this off, and if you slide this all the way down, you can see it's the same result as having it on. But if you start pushing this display smooth all the way up, it's going to smooth it out. And you can change the resolution of that smoothness. So the higher the count, it's basically showcasing you up to 32 subdivision levels. And I can change this edge resolution. So I can still make my edges fairly hard edged, but keep that subdivision level count. And while this is going on, I'm also with my displacement map on. If I turn this off, you can see actually what is being shown is just a smoothing of the normals of your geometry. So if I push this all the way up, it's smoothing everything. And I can still rotate it around, even though every time I rotate it, it's just going to show me the actual facets of the geometry in order to improve your performance. So to preview that detail, you can turn on your displacement map. And I'm effectively on my lowest subdivision level, but I'm still previewing uh, what it should look like on a higher subdivision levels. So that was it for mesh smoothness and displacement maps. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.